Okay, just for the record, part 71 is on line 15C. This is going to be line 15D. It's called Wow SETI Black Holes Rel Relativistic Jets X-Ray Radio Thermal Radiation and Extra Galactic Stars. If you're a Google Sky fan, you're definitely going to want to look at this video. It'll teach you all sorts of cool stuff. So we're going to go over the data first and then we're going to come back to this point here where I've put my thoughts about the data that I found. Okay, so of course it's about the Wow SETI 1977 signal based on line 15A. Um, the number is 31, then 3, 111, 11, and 1. We have several videos in this series. I got 15A, B, B2, C, D, E, F. If the videos get too long, we might be adding a few more in there, okay? So I'm just going to scroll down here to D. I kind of get lost of where I am. This is 15C, C, 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 and there's D. Okay, so in 15C we're talking about quantum mechanics and the word quantum gravity came up and I didn't know what it meant. So of course I have to look, right? Quantum gravity. Can quantum mechanics and general... Actually, this is a question that was posted and it led me to do some research about it. So quantum gravity says, can quantum mechanics and general relativity be realized a fully consistent theory perhaps as a quantum field theory? Is space-time fundamentally continuous or discrete? Would a consistent theory involve a force medi mediated by a hypothetical graviton or be a product of a discrete structure of space-time itself as in loop quantity gravity? Are there de deviations from the predictions of general relativity at a very small or very large scale or in other extreme circumstances that flow from a quantum gravity theory? So these are, this was under the unsolved problems in physics, and I don't know, it, it came, it kind of jumped out at me. Remember I talked about those problems here? It's on wiki, on uh, unsolved problems in physics. There's all sorts of stuff that hasn't been solved, or actually I think a lot of it's been solved, it just hasn't been updated yet, or maybe it has, I don't know. So that might be another video, <laughs> sorry. If I find answers, I'll let you know, okay? But I did find an answer to this one about the quantum gravity thing. And uh, the research was about black holes. So this is an artist's representation of what a black hole looks like. I thought they looked different. So I said, research 15D, Maya says yes, okay? So black holes, black hole information paradox, and black hole radiation... Do black holes produce thermal radiation as expected on theoretical grounds? Does this radiation contain information about their inner structure as, as suggested by the gauge gravity duality or not as implied by Hawking's original calculation? This is, remind, remember, this is under the problems of unsolved. This is an unsolved thing that they've got on Wiki. And these, the message from the Maya brings up the answer to this. That's what freaked me right out when I saw that. So are not as implied by Hawking's original calculation. If not, and black holes can evaporate away, what happens to the information stored in them? Quantum mechanics does not provide for the destruction of information. Or does the radiation stop at some point leaving black hole remnants? Is there another way to probe their internal structure somehow if, if such a structure even exists? So again, this is under unsolved problems in physics. The reason I did it is because I remember reading and doing something about it in an earlier video. Actually, 14B an answers this question, and it came up in the WOW signal. So 14B, um, you want to see the 14B video, WOW, SETI, Galax, M83, Charles Messier, Catalog, Centaurus, A, Clusters, Johannes, Kepler, 22B, Stars, and Planets. That's what that video is about. And it brings up relativistic jets, or extremely powerful jets of plasma which emerge from presumed massive objects at the center of some active galaxies, notably radio galaxies and quasars. Their lengths can reach several thousand or even hundreds of thousands of light years. And this is the X-jet X-ray emission from extragalactic radio jets. That's what it looks like. And I don't know what this stuff means. Found that on the Harvard Edu site, xjet.index. Uh, Again, these links and these photos and stuff will be up on the blog so you can follow along with the video, okay? So thermal radiation, 
relativistic jets, Google search and I find? The answer seems to be yes, there is radiation in the black holes. Okay, so this is what comes up is HEA research relativistic jets in blazars. We also are convinced that when we detect radiation from jets, it means there are relativ relativistic electrons producing the emission. See below, these jets are called. Again, I was Googling. In this case, I Googled this word, thermal radiation relativistic jets. That's what you want to Google that in order to get these links to come up. If not, you can go to the website and I'll have them so you can, uh, on the website I copy and paste this and then I activate the link so you can go and do your search on your own. Thermal radiation from relativistic GRB jets from call-up stars. We have calculated the light curves and spectrum of the photospheric thermal radiation from gamma ray burst jets using the results of the 2D revelistic. So this people, these people have actually done experiments on it. Okay. Um, Google thermal radiation relativistic jets black holes. So I add another word to it, right? So up comes Dr. Giovanni Fassati. The formation and evolution of relativistic jets an active galactic nuclei is one of the blah 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 applied on the black hole BH space time and the gas that moves through it. Oh, remind me never to eat before I do a video. Seriously, I'm sorry. Successfully interpreted in terms of non-thermal radiation from relativistic jets. So I was looking for those keywords to see if anything came up for them and of course all this stuff came up, right? So here's some more. As ISAS, Understanding Relativistic Jets, the forefront of space. This is under www.isas.jaxa.jp. Particularly prominent jets are associated with supermassive black holes of plasma emitting non-thermal radiation from radio to, F to Y ray frequencies and moving. Next one is Numerica and Analytic Study of Relativistic Jets Europa Cordis. The physical conditions in relativistic jets generated in the vicinity of black holes or other indexes numerical hydrodynamics non-thermal radiation processes. So my message is can you please update wiki? <laughs> you guys can update wiki, okay? <laughs> Protostellar jets in context Google book results. Um, Canaris, Tizanos, Tom Ray, and Matthias Stute, 2009 Science, 662 pages. These jets will generate the non-thermal radiation, uh, number one's introduction to several models are proposed for relativistic jets from compact objects, a magnetized accretion disk by means of electromagnetic fields surrounding rotating black holes. Next one, stellar evolution, black holes, astronomyonline.org, stars, black holes. Dark matter and the importance of black holes in physics and astronomy, emission of relativistic jets resulting from synchrotron radiation outside of black holes thermal mass relationship is that black holes will suffer from thermal radiation. Okay, so back to this X jet X ray emission thing. Uh, this website is meant to serve as a clearinghouse for radio galaxies in quasars for which X-ray emissions have has been detected and which is associated with radio jets, knots and hot spots. As resources permit, we will also provide downloadable FITS images for public use. If you would like to donate a FITS image, have a new example, add to the list or find erroneous or incomplete information, please email D. Harris. So this is an interactive website where they're gathering data from different people. And it shows radio sources with jet related x-ray emissions. I don't know what this means, but there it is. Generic name, RA, December, class x-ray features, associated optical, associated radio. Got some sort of calculations there. But if you go to the to their website, you can look at all this data here. See that? Uh, where's the link? Okay, notes and comments. Here we go. Images and other source data can be found on the individual source pages accessible by clicking on the source name in the left column. Morphology, we generally use linear to mean a smooth feature, not as a distinct brighter feature in a jet that continues past the feature. Hotspot is a terminal bright enhancement. Anyways, you can go to their website and look it up there, okay? Related links is optical extra low jets. The XJet website is partially supported by NASA grant. Oh, so NASA, see, NASA came up. Look at that. 
AR6-7013X and contract NAS8-39073. This page was created in 2001 by A. Mossman O. Stallman. So if you go to HTTP hea-ww.harvard.edu uh, forward slash xjet forward slash index dot cgi you can find them and again that link will be put on the website okay so we're gonna go to let's f d uh, let's e okay there's fifth that's the that's the end of d for that portion let's go to my notes over here okay so this is part 72 and this is my notes over here on this. So January 16, 2012, 3 or 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. These are my thoughts on line 15D. Today is January 19th, by the way. Okay. Black holes and thermal radiation, relativistic jets, galaxies and stars, X-ray emission from extragalactic radio jets. I was looking up what quantum gravity was because it came up in the quantum mechanics section. See video line 15C, part 70 for more details. Then it came up with these questions on Wiki. I had just finished doing a bit of research on black holes, mentioned in other data, in the number 14 video, which I showed you, right? But I wasn't really paying too much attention to it because I didn't know anything about black holes and I figured, well, I'm not going to go into it, right? But I'm glad I did it in this section. Before we learned about how SETI uses spectrum to find planets and stars in its data. This also helps them find black holes and thermal radiation, which is which leads to the topic of relativistic jets, showing us where star nebula is formed, and this creates large galaxies where we find planets, stars, and other things like alien life forms, UFO sightings in the heavens or on Google Sky, and alien radio telescope quasar transmission readings. It's all linked together to make sure you see all the videos about those topics. I had no idea that line 15 would produce videos A, B, C, D, E, and F. And also there's a B2 there as well. It might, it might go to G, we'll have to see. I haven't started filming yet, I'm working on my thoughts. As you know, I'm just looking at all the data I found back on January the 7th, 2012 for this particular equation I found on line 15. 31, 3, 1, 11, 11, and 1. Reading it for the very first time. I am amused at how much data keeps intermingling with itself on here, and yet each time we find it, something new is added. Which is really cool for me, because when I first start looking into it, I haven't got a clue about what any of it, of, of it means. By the time I'm through several videos, the answers along with the diagrams and explanations on how each word is used with various inventions, calculations, and discoveries, I'm learning something fantastic each time. I hope you are too. X-ray emission from extragalactic radio jets. In this section, I found out, find out more about spectrum and how alien signals are perceived by those who are searching for them. As a quote, radio galaxies and quasars for which X-ray emissions has been detected which is associated with radio jets, i.e. knots and hotspots. As resources permit, we will also provide download of its images for public use. My thoughts again. This is where I learn more about radio quasars, found in galaxies and how black holes tie in with them. Two things I didn't know anything about and now I know about this catalog. So far we found a comet, star, planets, and now a quasar radio signals, alien or not, listed up to line 15F in the WOW SETI video series. Make sure you check out the information found in the earlier videos. You are currently in line 15D, the WOW SETI video series part 71. In an earlier video, I put out a request for all quasar radio transmissions thought to be alien in the hydrogen line 1420.4057577 megahertz frequency to be mapped in Google Sky. Please take the star I drew, the pentacles of King Solomon videos found from videos parts 1 to 71, January 16, 2012. I want you to take this star right here that I drew. You want to take the star, the radio signals, and impose them over a celestial sphere map like the one on the right. So you want to take your radio signals, add them on there with the star with its coordinates. 
So this one, these are a little jumbled around, but this will be Saturn at 11, Jupiter at 13, Mars 45 up here, Venus is 7, and then Mars, uh, Marduk number 4, or Nibiru down there, number 4. You want to take the star radio signals and pulse them over a celestial sphere map, map like the one on the right. Take the star and rotate it 90 degrees northwest and see if your signals fall in the same areas of Pegasus and Sagittarius star regions. To determine if it's from the alien Maya's in the Kepler 22b planetary solar system, star solar system. And then post those findings on Google Sky or on a blog and let me know. If you can make a YouTube video and post it as a response, that would be so cool. Or that would be awesome. So you want to take the star which was down here before and I rotated it northwest 90 degrees to get it to go in that section. That was so it could fit on the coordinates on here and you have to go to the earlier videos to find that. Just look up the celestial video. Okay? Remember, all notes from all videos, along with links to explore, will be posted on my blog along with each video. Victoria Stafford of PsychicInvestigationWordPress.com. Okay? Usually the notes go up a day or so of the videos, the idea go. So that's the end of 15D, and next is going to be 15E, and I'm down to one bar on my video so it's possible that we might end up having you do an extra one for that one okay actually I'm going to do more about the catalog next